Hello everyone, in this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough, then also you can search for yourself, but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always, keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. Elira Pandora, as you know, is one of the people who was a part of the black screen stream, the infamous black screen stream that was done during a Neopet stream of Doki Bird that made her go into a panic attack. Not Elira, it made Doki Bird go into a panic attack because she's like, why am I being attacked again? Because of that, there's been seven straight months of dropping subscribers for Elira Pandora. Elira has recently hit 530k and is still losing more subscribers. And I have a feeling she's going to continue hitting that low continue going low and it's going to continue dropping because um people are number one not necessarily because of the black screen stream because a lot of people who are left after the main drop were people who are still fans of Elira. now what i'm talking about is people who may leave her because she's not streaming enough and there are other people around her streaming there's going to be dead subscribers there's going to be things like that that happen in this whole thing but right now we're going to be talking about the the, the drop that she's had she had gotten the 600k around March, you know, February, March of uh, 2024, she had worked her way up. I mean, congratulations for them to working their way up. Then after that whole black screen stream situation really started getting big, uh, it dropped by a lot. You can see it's, it's a really, really steep drop. And then it's been on a continuous decline the whole way. For someone like her, she has lost about 10 times, about 10 times the people that I have as subscribers themselves. So. She's dropped a lot overall. She has dropped a lot. And that is saying a lot, if you know what I mean. It's saying a lot for her to drop as much as she has because it is um, quite crazy to have that precipitous drop for anybody. Uh, it says near 500K, huge muscle. Congratulations. You made a typo. It should be congratulations. Yes, because of course they made that mistake. They did. That's a big mistake that everyone makes fun of. Uh, as a former familiar, familiar, I guess familiar, uh, this doesn't make me happy, but it doesn't make me sad either. Willing or not, this is what you get for letting a blatantly evil corporation use your voice to slander an icon of the industry and taint your character forever. Imagining where she'd be now, she had just been punished or even better, terminated for refusing. Now that makes me sad. The black stream was straight up career suicide. And that is the issue. The issue is that you have her who was on an uptick and could have gotten so much support had it been one of those situations where um, you, instead of, you know, going and making the black screen stream, you had been like, no. And then if you had been punished, it wouldn't have been so big and people actually would have been supporting you because you're like, hey, at least you didn't want to say anything against Doki. And that would have also taken away a lot of the rats that are around about her being a a like management style person like doing management in there being a part of the click things like that would have been erased pretty quickly if she had been a little bit smarter with what she did amelia watson has finally ended her streaming career at least so far her streams that's all that's ending of course she hasn't graduated she's still affiliated with hololive but streaming and that type of social media creation has ended it's going to be more doing projects and things like that with uh with them they said you might find her in you know certain lives certain uh projects here and there things like that uh you may be you know concerts and things like that thank you all so much for your support during my time here through the scuff streams late schedules many a completed game and unforgettable moments thank you thank you my time here in hollow life has been filled with so much joy all the goals accomplished and all the friends made i'm so happy i was chosen to be your detective thank you forever and of course there is the um, you know, wonderful things here. Of course, her last message was 07, a salute to goodbyes. And see you later. Not so much a goodbye because they are still affiliated, of course, with Hololife. So it's still sad and in and out this happened, but it did. It's not much I can do about it. So I just figured why not? The other fans would like to see this. So this is for y'all. Thank you, Ame. And of course, continuing on here is Ame and her uh, final goodbye final farewell moving on to a different timeline whatever you want to call it i had gotten over a hundred thousand i think i got like a hundred and ten thousand peak at some point so it definitely gotten over a hundred thousand which is well deserved because it is one of those moments that you don't want to miss and i watched it as well along with everyone else goodbye i until next time stay happy healthy and may we hear from you again take care detective and that was you know the live stream being offline and of course her saying uh you know the live chat here being i thank you so much i'll always love you by me to thank you again exit stage left 
she did she exited the stage she did it all in 3d it was she wore the mocap suit and everything like that so she did a full 3d from her own home which was amazing to see it was a great thing to see honestly some final messages were said and expressed of course one amelia's message as i'm going to remain a hololive affiliate you guys will still hear me in some songs and covers uh see me in projects every once in a while so see you later for now but that's a reminder that it is not a final goodbye it is a changing of the way that things are happening this is the first time it's ever happened in hololive and as far as i know the first time it's ever happened in a large agency where they're still an affiliate but they're not streaming with them the streams have stopped and that type of stuff so it's it's an it's new ground and leave it to amelia to always break new ground i really hope this new approach test this kind of thing works out for her for how life for us as viewers and maybe even for corporate vtubing as a whole because this is not a bad thing i mean if you can get this stuff done if you can get it done properly and you can get it experience have the experience be positive and be something that moves the content forward in one way or another it is a good thing because that doesn't mean that people have to graduate when they want to move on to, you know, their next situation, their next things going on. It says, of course, here it says it's successful. It really seems like a win-win-win situation. Company still gets the revenue from the IP. Talent gets to meet old colleagues and get some money. And the fans get to see, hear their idol every so often. Exactly. And the issue is, I think, with most agencies not being able to do this, is that most agencies are very vicious with protecting their IPs, like Niti Sanji and others. Hollow Live protects the IPs very much so. But has always allowed the pri the private lives or the personal lives or the PLs or the past lives of the livers that they have, the VTubers that they have, uh, continue. That's why people like Kali have been able to continue in their old stuff. Kiara has been able to continue in their old stuff. Matsuri has been able to continue in their old stuff. Mio has been able to continue in their old stuff. It is just as long as you keep the two separate and you don't intermingle the two, that's why I never intermingle the two, and I never mention them un while they are still members of Hololive. I try to never mention them. They're old white, they're old people, they're old ways of doing things. They're, they're old style, they're old VTuber persona or IRL persona. I try not to have that. And on to more messages. This one was from uh, Henma, the, the hen manager, the media's manager. Uh, first of all, I want to personally thank all teammates for their love and support. You've all provided Ame over the years. Without, uh, without which, none of what we have or what is would have been possible. So there is no denying that. In a way, I get paid because of you guys, haha, so thank you for that. Secondly, I have received all presents the community has been putting together and made sure it reaches her to either enjoy personally or share on stream. Thank you to everyone involved for organizing, contributing, producing, and or providing your support. Thirdly, <clears throat> I just want you guys to know it's been an absolute pleasure for me too to be able to do all these wonderful things and seeing the warm reactions of the community and how they appreciate things. I don't think we could ask for anything better. So take care out there and have a great one. And it has, you know, the Amelia head pat cheers, which is, you know, a good message to send to the community. Community has done a lot. And uh, to kind of finish this off, this section off, I want to show you the updated uh, hollow myth portion of how life productions the way they have it in english i like this better because the japanese one i think translates cali said it the last night transit to no longer streaming uh that seems like you know it's more of a goodbye but here it's more mori calliope mori calliope takanashi kiara nino mai inanis gargura and the affiliate amelia watson this sounds so much better this is a nice cap to everything she's done and of course, as long as she remembers, she'll never be gone. Never, ever. And she'll never be forgotten. Even if she did graduate, she'll never be forgotten. For those who might be confused, normally graduating talents are moved on to the alumni section to show that they left Hololive. Ame, however, is being left in the myth section just with affiliate prefix to indicate her status. So the graduate members are actually removed from the gens they belong to. Instead, in addition to being placed in the alum tab, they're placed at the end of active talents. Also, you can see how it all works out in the English tab. An alum like Sana moved to the end as above, but it, Ame keeps her place after Gura and before Iris. So they, it's a different shuffling. I hope this continues. I hope that most talents, instead of graduating, will decide to become affiliates with Hololive so they can still do some things in their own personal lives. They can still follow their own personal journeys, their own personal uh, success stories, their own personal things that they want to follow, but also have the ability to be a part of Hololive if they so wish it. And that is what I always want for everybody involved. I am not going to say anything negative about Ooh Market because I have zero experience with them. Um, and they seem to have fixed a lot of these issues. 
as this person even says here. But let's see what they have to say. Reyu Gooey Gooey Garu uh, Geisha Ghost Gamer Girl says, Ooh, market handled me and my community unprofessionally and unfairly for a long time. This is, of course, their story. I just put it out there because it is their story. Please do not ask me to release stuff with them. They might have gotten better and more organized over time. The CEO Farah did not treat me fairly, and I see no reason to be silent about it. They still haven't apologized to me in my community, by the way. CEO a man approached me for special merch and then ghosted me twice. Monthly merch were nine months late, offered a voucher to the community to make up for it and changed their mind. I'm not making this sweet to try to get something from them. I'm done working with them. Whenever I bring up uh, making off kilter merch, people ask why I don't work with Uwo Market. I was one of the first to work with them and they dropped the ball and didn't even say sorry. I want to point out the absurdity of journalists, VTubers, and newstubers selling merch with a company and not reporting negative news on that company while scrounging for info on indie VTubers. Unbiased journalism at its finest. The reason Uwo Market fiasco gets me so healed, heated is that they rely on you being too scared to inconvenience your chuba to report that something is wrong with your merch. They demonstrated they don't care about being late, having low quality, so long as one, no one says anything. And that sucks. It sucks I had viewers too scared to tell me their box was six months late. It sucks that they had to come to me finally to get a response from Uwo Market. It sucks that VTubers are too scared to speak up about Uwo Market because of their reach. Allow me to seethe. Now, I hope that my covering this, because I am going to cover it, because I do not like being silenced. I do not like a company having the type of reach where I will be silenced because I'm talking about them. I hope that things have been fixed. I do not know if things have been fixed. I do not know if they are still the same way that they are. This is one person's story. And of course, I'm sharing it because I feel it needs to be shared. Companies can mess up. Yes, they can. I mean, they're human beings. They can mess up. But for this person to not have gotten any response and to have gotten ghosted the way that they did and all these things, when it happened to them, whenever that was, they don't give us a date. They don't give us in a specific time, anything like that. I take people at face value and I take the companies at face value. If Uwo Market wants to speak to me and clear this up and let me know, you know, things have gotten better. Here are the things that we have done to get better. I will, of course, talk to you. Of course I will. And as long as things are good, you know, I, I, as I said, there are bad times for companies. Companies do bad things. They can be better. But it does suck that a VTuber at all had to deal with this issue. That just sucks. Like, you know, when people have to deal with issues when it comes to Amazon or anyone else. I will call it out because I'm a journalist. I want to be a journalist VTuber. I want to be a news tuber. I don't want to be feeling like, oh, I am blacklisted now because I talked about Uwo Market. I would hope that Uwo Market wouldn't be the type to blacklist me for this, but if they are, then that also looks bad on them, I think. Because criticism is the way you grow. Criticism, that's why I allow criticism on my channel. Criticism is the way you grow. Criticism is the way you fix issues that maybe you didn't even know you had. That is what is important, fixing these issues. Today is Mint's birthday. Birthday stream is on 3rd October with Doki, Matara, and Laimu. Of course, a lot of times because of scheduling, etc. maybe it's a day off, etc. you can't always have it on your day i stream every day so i did stream on my birthday uh today's mint's birthday birthday stream on 3rd october and this is the source uh, of what it's going to be mint share its birthday with mother woo happy birthday it's kind of surprised how well she's gotten along with the limes compared to the time zone it's the third we can be the second for some people they're going to be you know great hunting on that day and of course we have another thing that happened which is the ghost of akiburs which is basically they went to akihabara they had on the book off, which is, you know, a place where you can buy books, use books. They had Mint Phantom, happy birthday. The fans paid for Mint Phantom and they also paid for a different set for, um, for Pomu, like an actual billboard for Pomu that, you know, extends beyond everything. So that's actually pretty cool. And here we have a video of someone at Akihabara taking a look at everything that's going on. And of course, the, the excitement, the excitement that, that, is, that is being seen there. Oh, this is mint. This is actually mint. I didn't have sound, so I was that was mint. Why was she in Akiba? Is she a, a native Japan like and living in Japan? I don't know, but she was in Akiba. She says standing in the rain to see this was so worth it. Thank you. And then of course, mint happy birthday. Proud to be a ghost hunting Akiba. And it says, of course, for the person who did it, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
uh it is just you know for the actual person who did it here it's the whole off season they actually paid for it they actually got it done there and it was you know fully set up by fans and of course it is wonderful to see that and it's wonderful to see that mint saw it in person not just a picture of it i had mentioned in a previous video that kana yanagi had their youtube channel uh had a copyright strike copyright uh, community guideline strike actually and it was a motivational ASMR with nothing weird, nothing unsay so, nothing of that sort happened. Uh, YouTube claims to have violated its S and nudity policy. Of course, here we have their actual tweet. Apparently, ASMR telling people you can do it, follow your dreams, etc. violates the policy. So it's like you have reviewed your appeal for the following. And the thing is, this had been manually reviewed before and it had been manually allowed before this is the big what the f is going on type of situation it had been this video this exact video had been manual manually allowed before as in someone manually reviewed it and was like hey that's fine that's okay then it was removed and then it was continued to be removed talk with the management about how to proceed with the asmr content until we figure it out i have to pause asmr streams because i literally have no idea what's going on anymore the guidelines uh make sure we're looking at the right video share the url it's linked in my tweets luckily uh youtube wakana welcome to the dark side let's see how they responded push it the info we're going to pass this along to another look it may take a couple of days until we have an update but we'll let you know when we have one appreciate it hopefully this can be resolved and because i like positive endings to these stories i will show you the positive ending to the story the community guideline warning is gone thank you so much to everyone who commented on this and got the attention of youtube i think someone at youtube finally took a look at it because the asmr video is back i'm so relieved hooray i'm so glad it got you got help i'm glad it got fixed glad everyone in kana's uh, the camos were able to get their youtube's attention and look into it nothing but love kana everyone else been appalled by youtube's inability to effectively manage their own platform glad things are finally coming together so things came together she got that strike removed it's gone it's good it's done it's the way it should be of course it always should be this way where Okay, I understand the sussy stuff. Yes, get rid of it. Get rid of the sussy stuff. Shouldn't be there. Anything to NSFW shouldn't be there. But um, if it's not NSFW, if it's actually trying to push positivity, then let it be. Which luckily, YouTube saw the light and let it be. Congratulations, Kana, for getting that removed. And probably Pixel Link helped a bit too. There are some bad things that happen in the VTuber sphere unfortunately in this case an editor i guess who had an access to tiktok in order to place things on a person's tiktok on a vtuber's tiktok took away the vtuber's tiktok took away access uh changed the information on there what have you and now they're pretending to be them which is i don't know why they would do that i guess just to get fame and money and whatever i don't know i don't know how, how tiktok pays things overall so i don't know what's going on vtuber Deme has her TikTok account stolen by former editor, and the source is here. My TikTok got hacked by my former editor, and I have no access to it. This is now an account that is impersonating me. Please report it. Deme Nishki V. Report the TikTok. This one, my real TikTok, is Deme Nishki as of right now, not the Deme Nishki VT. The actual Deminishki as of right now. One well, must wonder why people do this. Who really knows? What the F? So sorry it happened to you. Holy F. So sorry this happened to you. I'll be following your new account, and of course because it already has 65k followers that's why they did it that's absolutely why they did it and it says rough anyway what happened between them the editor claiming her account is probably only hurting himself more who would who would like to hire them if he pulls stuff like that uh probably dumb <clears throat> I don't know why someone who works with the internet would paint a target on their back like this. Yeah, that makes you really hate it at this point. Comes to show that the content creator has been in control of their channel's accounts, even with editors and managers. The one who has to be capable of pressing the post is the creator alone. Yes, you can have the editor, manager, etc. send you stuff, but not actually be in control of your channel. Not trying to victim blame, but it's alarming how many people give their editors direct access to their accounts. In the first place, I trust my editor, but I would never give them keys to my accounts. They send me the videos and I upload schedule them myself. Either way, I hope they get the account back. I mean, I know people who are just getting straight up IRL friends with their editors. That's the manage their entire channel. Yeah, it's freaking crazy. It really is. But the editor done is effed up. Uh, if they really were the one who did it. But the stories like this makes me want to know on the other what's on the other side. And yeah, don't give your editor this type of access. Don't do that. Let this be a lesson to you. Don't give your editor or moderators this type of access. You can give them certain editorial access on the channel, on like your YouTube channel, etc., but not actually, you know, actually give them access to your account. That's a big no-no in general. A creator. Uh, from Palette Project, who was uh, accused of, or at least assumed to be an issue with um, them having broken contract, is uh, has left uh, the Palette Project area and has become transferred, has gotten transferred to Ma Mate Real. Mate Real is the 
umbrella agency for Palette Project and things like that. So it's like Cover with Hololive. Cover is the big agency. Hololive is the one doing the talents. Cover is the corporation that controls them. And that's what Mate Real is to Palette Project. Now, this was announced on their official Twitter. Uh, for whatever reason, I wasn't able to get a full translation of it because uh, Google Images uh, didn't like my image for some reason. I don't know why that didn't like my image for some reason. Uh, but we do have a translation down here about Mashiro Momona's future activities. Thank you very much for your continued support of Momona Mashiro Palette Project. As a result of our investigation, we have confirmed the fact that Momona Mashiro has been leaking internal information to outside third parties without permission outside of the distribution channel. So outside of YouTube, outside of Twitch, Twitter, or if they have a Twitch, uh, they have been leaking information, internal information, which is always a no-no on any agency. I am still don't leak things that I know about uh, DreamWorks Animation, which is an agency that I used to be a part of, that I spent over a year working with. I still don't say certain information because it's not public. Information that's not public, no matter how long ago you're away, you can easily get blacklisted for it. The above is clear violation of confidentiality agreement between our company and Momona Mashiro. In addition, we have confirmed that Momona Mashiro had, in her past deployments, made statements of information that could be referred to as part of the company's confidential information, and made statements that could be determined that detrimental to Palette Project and give rise to speculation contrary to the facts. October 21st, we issued a strict warning to Momona. However, even after a strict warning, there had been no sufficient improvement in their comments and behavior in the distribution. So they continue to be an a-hole, I guess. Uh, after issuing another stern warning to Momona Mashiro regarding the above two points, including the fact that this action would normally be considered contract termination, and after repeated consultations regarding her future, Momona Mashiro has decided to withdraw from Palette Project research students and become a member of Mate Real Corporation, which manages the, ma the Palette Project as an individual talent. We apologize to all of our fans for a sudden announcement. Momona Mashiro will be suspended for a period of time and will resume her activities only only after we have determined that she is able to work on individual talent belonging to the company. Our staff will continue to support Momona Mashiro so that she can return to work as a full-fledged talent. Instead of terminating, they move her to another branch. And here we have, of course, uh, the information here. So they're moving her on to another branch. This is Momona Mashiro's. Uh, this is her here. I had mentioned, I believe, a while back that they were under hiatus, at least for the meantime, and that there were stern warnings and accusations rolling around. I had covered the story before. Did not expect that they would be moved. Um, so they are independent under Mate Real, in the sense they're not a part of any project anymore. They're not a part of Palette Project, but they are still under the agency. It's a weird move because usually they terminate talents that do this. Technically, I guess they have been terminated from Palette Project, but they haven't been terminated overall. It's like as mentioned here, it says um, it will be suspended for a period of time or we'll resume her activities only after we are determined that she's able to work as a talent under the company. But still, no full, like, I know Yozora Mel on the Hololife got uh, terminated because of this. Most people get terminated. I know some under Vom's Monster Project got terminated as well under those situations. It's just, it's weird. It's a, it's a weird situation, but it's also weird the way they did it. Uh, she'll be keeping her avatar. Essentially, still working for the same company, just not within the same group. Maybe an experiment, experiment by Material or Brave Group. Brave Group owns Material. Uh, so to see if they can still work with the talents that broke some rules, or maybe it's just how Material pushes talents into quitting. Maybe they do because maybe they're going to get less, less support and just going to be on life support for a while. So we don't know. I wish them the best, of course, and I hope that the Mate Rio thing uh, gets fixed and I hope that they fix whatever situation is going on. Welcome back to the VTuber Showcase, the place where I like to give back to the VTuber community. And my way of giving back is showcasing various VTubers, big and small, and of all separate sizes, new and existing ones that have been around for a bit all in the push to try to get them at the very least seen by other people and hopefully help them grow a little bit it's just having them out there is the best thing i can do for them making it a community and not a competition as i always say chrysalis the chrysalia cilia it's a goddess of rebirth vtuber that sings designs and screams it is of course the uh this is their design this is their full-on design which is a very very nice design it's the reference sheet here getting a full look at everything. And here we are on their uh, VTuber Twitch channel. We're going to take a look at their about section here, of course. And um, their about is Chrysalia Cilia. Cilia. Uh, go by Chris. I'm a goddess of rebirth, observing various civilizations and find meaning of life. Great place to be if you're down from some chaos and comfort. So a little bit of chaos, a little bit of comfort going on there. And of course, we have here 
uh, Nier Automata covers, other covers that they've been doing, the debuts that they've been having 11 months ago, mostly videos here, some shorts it looks like as well. And it's just, you know, trying to get themselves out there, trying to get their content out there. And talking about content, let's take a look at one of their most recent highlights here. Let's take a look here. I like Effie. The mod that I don't like is Galley. There's no point to F, you know? I think that's really unnecessary. Oof. <laughs> oof. A big ol' oof. But yeah, it's fun to have those moments. It's fun to do that. And of course, I do this to, of course, always try to show you guys a little bit of what's happening in the VTuber community, all the people that are around there, and everyone who uh, you can take a look at if you so please and you want to look at other people. Thank you so much for allowing me to uh, showcase you here and showcase your design, uh, Chrysalia Cilia. Sila, and also thank you for letting me put you on the showcase and i hope that this helps you grow of course because that's what i want i want at the very least for people to take a look at your your content thank you so much for watching that is all the news that we have for today please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here which i will try my best to respond to i love seeing your comments down below of course as well like and subscribe to the channel uh, that will give you more information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.